Hey, hi, I'm Steve Averill, and I just got this really cool analog modular synthesizer from synthesizers.com. It's their starter kit, and I'm just going to go through the basic functions and see how everything's working and, uh, and share it with you. So let's get going. I think I'll start with uh, basically turning on the voltage control oscillator and just piping it through the output amplifier and see how it looks. So I'll, uh, I'll patch from the ramp of the VCO to signal input on this amplifier and I'm just going to take a cord that's going to my PA mixer and I should have something here so I'm turning the sound up see what we got there we go one tone ramp so we got frequency just here and some octave ranges that's great so I'm just going to change this over to the square wave and see how this sounds and crank that up a little bit you're gonna hear it go to the low frequency lowest range here yeah this is good but what I'm gonna do here is uh, we're gonna change and add the filter into the circuit here so I'll put it in here, and then I've got to take the output of the filter and put it into the amplifier. And we should have sound now. There it is. And here's the effect of adjusting the filter. Highest frequency, and then roll it off at the bottom. And then the resonance filter is kind of the wow part of analog synthesizers. You can hear it going up through the, listen to it go up through the harmonics. And that's the filter. So what I think I'll do now is I'm kind of thinking I need a, a little keyboard action on my basic synthesizer here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook up this M1 Korg, uh, which is a, a fine synthesizer in its own right, but it's, uh, um, it's got a nice MIDI out that I'm going to use. And so I'm going to plug the MIDI right into the, the MIDI interface. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just the pitch out and I'm going to go into the voltage control oscillators one volt per octave. This is very important. It has to be in the exponential frequency range. And so now the keyboard should control this voltage controlled oscillators pitch. Uh, so let's turn that on. Here's our sound. Get some filter in it and see if that works. Take it down to some. There we go. So we have keyboard control through MIDI. If we just hook up the control voltage to the oscillator, it'll control the pitch, but it doesn't have any sort of sense of whether the key is down or up. So when you stop playing, it just keeps singing out. So we, we do that by taking the gate control from the MIDI interface and run that through an envelope generator and have the envelope generator control the voltage control amplifier. And so I'm going to set that up and just for a basic setup of having a, a note's volume controlled by the keyboards down and up positions. So uh, let's take a look at this thing. I'm going to take the gate from the MIDI interface and plug that into the gate of the envelope generator. And let's just kind of set that as some basic settings here. And I need to take the control out of the envelope generator and have that control this output amplifier, this voltage control amplifier. And so right now, instead of before I was using this master gain, which is always on, I'm going to use this control level gain 
And now what I think is, we'll see what happens here. I think that when I push down on this key, I get something. And when I let go, it goes away. And so that, how fast that goes away and how that attacks and everything is controlled by the settings of the envelope generator, the ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. What do I think I'll do here is I'm going to set attack to quick and decay to fairly quick, attacks immediate, um, and sustain down, and just a little bit of release. And I'll turn this frequency up so we can hear things. And I should get a fairly plinky sound. I'm just going to adjust that a little bit. Faster decay. And be sure the sustain is fairly low. And that should make a fairly good bass sound as well. Uh, it doesn't really have the sustain. You see it needs to hold out some more, so I'm going to change the So that's using the gate of MIDI to control the voltage controlled amplifier through the use of the envelope generator, which gives us the attack, decay, sustain, release. So the voltage controlled amplifier with the envelope was pretty cool, but it really gets great when you start controlling the filter. Uh, filter from a gate off the keyboard and the voltage controlled amplifier pretty much brings us up to classic analog synthesizer. So here we go. Um, first thing I'm going to have to do is I need two gates coming out. So I'm going to take the gate from the MIDI interface and patch it through to this multiples and patch it to the gate of the envelope generator, which I'm then going to use to drive the filter. OK, so let's see what kind of sound I got right now. Pretty much where we left off, just with voltage control. There's no filter effect on this now. However, I do have this set up to control it. I just have to turn up the level to get it to control it. And now this envelope generator will control the filter. And we'll just turn the resonance up. It's easier to hear, not necessarily the sound you want, but it's quite good for hearing the filter doing its panning. So basically, you know, you have an attack and a decay and the filter sweeps down. Let's do it real slow. We'll do an up and a down. Right? And so when I do this a little bit faster, it's what I call my kitty cat. There you go. Never have to feed it. Okay, so now I'm just going to set up some interesting things here. Cut that filter down a little bit. I'm going to go to the bass lines. Cut the primary filter down so it's only coming from the attack decay. Adjusting the attack Okay, so I think what I want to do now is uh, bring in the second voltage control oscillator and see what we can do with a combination of two oscillators. In order to do that, I'm going to have to use multiples to pull from the, uh, the control voltage off of MIDI because I'll, I'll be driving two oscillators. And I'm going to have to use a mixer for the two outputs of the oscillators before going to the filter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 
pitch out of here and move this down to a multiple. And I'm going to take the pitch, just sneak it under here into the multiple. Now I have an extra one that I can use for the pitch of the oscillator. Let's see if this short one will work since it's sitting right, right here. And I can now, now I'm driving the voltage of both oscillators. However, I can't have the outputs of these oscillators going straight to the amplifier. I need to run them into the mixer. So I'll take the old oscillator and put it into input two. And I will take the new oscillator and put it into input one. Now let's just set these both at eight. And I'm just going to turn this up. Should have some pitch here. And I don't have anything because the output of the mixer is not connected. So one more thing, add the output of the mixer into the signal input and we should have sound. Now you'll notice it's a little bit ambiguous for pitch. That's because these synthesizers are, or these two oscillators are not together. So here they are together and if I did everything right they should both be following the keyboard. So let's lose some of that uh, attitude in the oscillator. Uh, let me just switch back to voltage control. All right, now one of the things I want to do first is I'm going to go to um, an octave spread on these. And that's a very cool sound. Listen to one at a time. There's that one, and then there's this one. Together. Very good in the low range. Nice. Um, it's also good if you have two octaves spread between. And this is especially interesting, octaves are especially interesting in a low uh, bass range. This is without octaves. This is with octaves. Okay, and you can kind of bend this top frequency a little bit. You get something fairly mean. And you want real mean, what you do is you go back to the square wave. Okay, now I'm going to set up a fifth. So basically, I'm going to go to the two octave spread. And, uh, well, let's hear what that two octave spread sounds like without the fifth. And the one octave spread. Okay, I'm going to set this up as a fifth, just one fifth above the primary by detuning the second oscillator down to that. fifth. we're going to add um, control voltage to the state variable filter, not to be confused with controlling the filter from the envelope generator, which for now I've pulled out the uh, um, control from the envelope generator just to be sure that it's stable. Right now we're going to have um, our, our pitches. We're going to have our pitches where the uh, attack can't change the filter so it's all stable. Um, I'm going to add this control voltage in now from 
the multiples right into the one volt per octave on the on the filter. So uh, without it, things tend to sort of filter off because the frequency of the cutoff is not moving with the keyboard. With it, the frequency of the cutoff moves with the keyboard. By uh, allowing that, then you can have some pretty aggressive things. But what I'm looking for is I want to throw this thing into resonance and tune that pitch that just came in there. I'm going to turn the oscillators down a little bit. And you can hear that pitch. And I just want to pick that sort of interesting harmonic right there. What I really wanted to try to get was a third. So if I just maybe go down in frequency a little bit. So that's a, that's a third there. And now I've got that built into the sound. It's just almost an extra pitch. And if I turn the oscillators down enough, I can hear it. So I'm just going to turn the oscillators up a tiny little bit. And then I'm going to do my fifths. Now if I've properly picked up a third in my um, resonant oscillator and I have this fifth, I'm not tuning it great, but that's the fun part of analog synthesizers, is now I'm going to have um, like a first, a fifth, and a high, really high third in, as a harmonic. And so let's see what that sounds like. It's a completely different sound than if you would have had uh, um, a third oscillator picking that pitch up. And this is all enabled because I'm controlling the oscillator's pitch with the keyboard as well as the, I said this, I'm controlling the variable filter pitch with the keyboard as well as the oscillators. And so that's that exercise. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, let me go through my uh, first experiences with uh, my modular synthesizer from synthesizers.com. And I hope you enjoyed it. And there'll be uh, some more videos coming up with uh, modulation and, and we'll get into you know, white noise and ring modulators and it's gonna be fun. So thank you.